Welcome to the Crazy Hat Chemist. So another entire unit here, and this unit is on intermolecular forces. So we're gonna get started with the first video in this unit of intermolecular forces. Bam! So today we're talking about a summary of bonding. So the first thing that we have are intramolecular forces. So the question is, what are intramolecular forces? Intramolecular forces are forces within a molecule, okay? So an example of that would be a metallic bond, and that is with like an iron and another iron, and these uh, bond energies are between 75 and 1,000 kilojoules per mole. Then we have a covalent bond. A covalent bond, a perfect example of that, is between uh, a hydrogen uh, molecule, and that is between 150 and 1,100 kilojoules per mole. Then we have a polar covalent bond, and a co polar covalent bond, is, an example of that, is carbon monoxide. And that has an intermediate kilojoule per mole bond energy, okay? That varies quite a bit because there are a lot of different polar covalent bonds. And then there's an ion-ion, which is an ionic bond, and that's a great example of that, is sodium chloride, and the bond energy with that is between 400 and 4,000 kilojoules per mole. That's a lot. So take a look at those molecules down there at the bottom of that diagram uh, of those molecules there. And then I'm going to point out an arrow right there. That is an intramolecular force that is within the molecule itself. And here's another example of an intramolecular force that is within the molecule. Okay. Now we're going to have intermolecular forces. Now the question is, what are intermolecular forces? Intermolecular forces are forces between molecules. Again, it's between molecules are intermolecular forces. This is different than intramolecular forces, which is within a molecule. So we're going to focus on intermolecular forces for the remaining portion of this unit here. So an example of an intermolecular force is an induced-induced dipole, and that would be with two nonpolar molecules like fluorine and fluorine, and the um, bond energy of this is 0 0.05 to 40 kilojoules per mole. Notice that this is much less than any of the intramolecular forces. This is otherwise known as a London dispersion force, or LDF, London dispersion force. All right, the next one is a dipole-induced dipole intermolecular force, and that, a good example of that would be hydrochloric acid and chlorine, and that is between 2 and 10 kilojoules per mole. Then an ion-induced dipole, and that would be an ion, would be the iron ion and the oxygen molecule, and that bond energy would be between 3 and 15 kilojoules per mole. Then we have a dipole-dipole interaction, and that is with two permanent dipoles. That would be hydrochloric acid and hydrochloric acid, and that is between 5 and 25 kilojoules per mole for that bond energy. Then we have a hydrogen bond, and a hydrogen bond, a perfect example of a hydrogen bond, which is the most common one to use, is between two different water molecules, although that's not the only one. Okay, and this is between 10 and 40 kilojoules per mole. Now, hydrogen bonds are special cases of dipole-dipole interactions, and they occur best when the hydrogen is co uh, t attached to a nitrogen, oxygen, or a fluorine, and we'll get back to that in a later uh, video here. And then we have an ion-dipole interaction. So an ion, like a sodium ion, and a permanent dipole, like water. And those bond energies are between 40 and 600 kilojoules per mole. Okay, those are the intermolecular forces. Okay, and I'm pointing these out here with these blue arrows. Notice this is between molecules. So if I were to attach that purple uh, uh, piece together, that would be an intermolecular force. Here's another example of an intermolecular force. They are between molecules. Okay, I am the Crazy Hat Chemist, and I got a crazy hat here for you today. I hope you're having a fantastic day, and I'm going to see you for another video. Give me a thumbs up if you like that. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, and pass it on to all your friends. Bye for now.